Today, I will list for you the 10 craziest medical practices from the past. Stay tuned so you don't miss any of them, as there's going to be plenty to be shocked about. Hello, guys, and welcome. If you would like to hear more historical gossip, then just click on that subscribe button. Now, let's start today's video. Number 10. Tobacco smoke in the anus. In the 18th century, tobacco smoke was blown into the rectum of drowning victims. This practice, imported from Native Americans, was thought to stimulate the intestines and promote breathing but was abandoned over time. Number 9. Urine Urine has been used for millennia as a remedy for diseases such as acne, asthma, and even cancer. In the Middle Ages, it was consumed and stolen from public toilets in an attempt to alleviate the symptoms of the plague. However, there is still no scientific evidence of its effectiveness. Number 8. Human feces. To treat the plague... Inflamed lymph nodes were opened, followed by the application of a mixture containing resin, flower roots, and human feces on the wound. This method was considered effective in warding off the disease from the body. Needless to say, it often led to the worsening of the patient due to the subsequent spread of infections. Number 7. Gladiator Blood in ancient Rome, it was believed that the blood of fallen gladiators could cure epilepsy due to the strength and courage attributed to them. The more battles a gladiator had fought, the more expensive, valuable and effective his blood was believed to be. This led to the collection and sale of the blood of deceased gladiators for medical purposes. Number 6. Sympathy Powder Sympathy powder, a 17th century medical preparation composed of gum and vitriol, was supposed to be applied to a blood-stained cloth or the weapon that had caused a wound. It was believed to act at a distance, mixing in the air with the atoms of the wound. Waving the sympathy powder was thought to help the patient heal, but it turned out to be an ineffective method with advancements in the medical field. Number 5. Dead rats to cure toothache in ancient Egypt, to alleviate dental problems caused by sand in the environment, teeth were treated by grinding dead rats and applying the resulting paste to the aching teeth. Number four, heroin-based syrup for children and cocaine for boredom. During the Victorian era, Bayer marketed a syrup for children based on heroin. Initially, it was believed that heroin did not cause addiction like morphine, but this belief was debunked over time. Patients with tuberculosis were treated with heroin, but addiction effects emerged soon, leading to the discontinuation of the drug. Another widely used drug in the 19th century was cocaine, extracted from coca leaves. Originally used by South American populations as a hunger tonic and anaesthetic, it became popular in the Victorian era, abused as a tonic, anaesthetic, and even a remedy for boredom. Cocaine was present in some beverages like Mariani wine and Damiana and Cola nut tonic, which later gave rise to Coca-Cola, though, though without the presence of cocaine. Number 3. Cranial Trephination Cranial trephination is one of the oldest surgical procedures with evidence of its use dating back to the Neolithic period. Initially performed to rid the patient of evil spirits, the practice spread worldwide and a mixture of coca leaves and saliva was believed to provide local anaesthesia before the procedure. Today, trephination is still used in a controlled medical context to reach the brain and treat certain diseases or intracranial injury. Number two, hysteria vibrator. Female hysteria was considered a neurotic disease linked to alleged malfunctions of the uterus. Vibrators, initially conceived as medical devices to treat female hysteria, were used to induce hysterical paroxysm and alleviate symptoms of hysteria. Number one, purging, vomiting and crying. Finally, purging, vomiting and crying were common practices to maintain the balance of bodily fluids and prevent diseases. Patients were induced to cry, vomit and excrete simultaneously to maintain a balanced body and even in cases of being overweight. 
That was the top 10 craziest medical practices from the past. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. And for those who made it this far, here is a bonus crazy medical practice. The mercury. The use of mercury to treat various diseases, including syphilis, was common from the 15th century until the 1700s. Despite severe side effects such as damage to teeth and organs, mercury was used based on the belief in its excellent therapeutic property. Thank you guys for making it this far. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.